And we're at Malachi still, and we're going to look today at verse 18, the last verse in chapter 3. This is what it says. Then you shall again discern between the righteous and the wicked, between the one who serves God and the one who does not serve him. So this is connected with other verses, right? We don't just pluck a verse out here and that's all. This is part of a bigger picture. And the bigger picture is that there's issues in the priesthood. God is trying to correct those. The people are denying it. No, there's no problems here. And he's bringing a point of a set of things up. And each, each point he brings up, they say, no, who, what are you talking about? We don't know about that. And God tries to give them correction and guide them in the right direction. Now we're kind of into the last lines of the book of Malachi. God is going to make up his jewels. He's going to spare people. He's going to bring them on for eternity. But he said a few minutes ago at verse 13, 14, and 15, that these priests are not discerning between the righteous and the wicked. They're not discerning between the just and the unjust. They're just kind of letting everything go. Hey, anything, whatever's workable, just do it. We're fine with that. We'll, we'll, we'll give it a seal of approval. It's okay. God said, no, it's not okay. Read it in verse 15. But here we see, then you shall, when after he makes up his jewels, the previous verse 17, after he decides who's going to be uh, the, go through the judgment and, and as many as possible that can be saved or saved, praise his name. After that time, he says, you will look and what? You will again discern between the righteous and the wicked. Oh, there is a difference. And here are people stumbling down through time and it's getting weirder and crazier, more chaotic, more evil and more wicked on earth all the time. And there's people that are saying, eh, no problem. Everything's fine. That's all okay. God's good with that. God said, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. When we're all done, when we're all done with this, guess what? He says, you'll look, there will be a difference between the righteous and the wicked. There will be a difference between the one who serves God and the one who doesn't serve him. Of course, there will be those who are redeemed and transformed and saved for all eternity. And sadly, there will be those who chose selfishness. They chose rebellion. They chose wickedness. And those people will be discontinued and they'll be no more forever. We'll start on that chapter four here. There's only a couple of verses there, verse six verses. We're going to talk about what happens to the wicked, those who are not redeemed. We're going to talk about that tomorrow morning, but right now, let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for your word. Uh, bless us, Lord, by helping us to see the difference between good and evil in an age when it seems like everybody around us doesn't see any difference, doesn't see any issue. Everybody is okay with everything, but you're not. Help us to be on your team, Lord. Help us to make the difference between good and bad, right and wrong in every way. Now, Lord, be our helper, be our leader. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. We will discern between the righteous and the unrighteous. We need to be there that day when we will be able to see clearly the results of the judgment. Judgment's not a bad thing. And we have opportunity today to come over. Come over. You need to come over. I need to come over and be on God's side. God be with you today.